Travel can be stressful. Rushing to catch a plane or a bus, waiting in customs to get on your plane or bus, those nail-biting moments as your plane or bus takes off into the sky. But what if you take stress out of the equation because you're not waiting for anything or going anywhere? What if the airport is your trip? You could have fun there. The Pearson Airport is a multi-billion dollar facility, not unlike a Rogers Center or a Kelsey's. It's a public space. You can just go there. You don't even need a ticket. I mean, you can't get on a plane without a ticket. Well, you probably could actually. You've seen the movies. Rarely ends well though. Heck, movies rarely end well these days. I remember this old one I used to love. It's with this guy named Dundee who loved alligators. I don't remember what it was called, but he had this knife and he would... So I've arrived here uh, at not only Canada's largest and busiest airport, but also home of some of the world's last remaining pay phones. And last time I was here, I was 13. I'm older now, I'm wiser now. Don't think I'm gonna see Lester B. Pearson himself, but you never know, right? So let's go. Every check-in that I've seen so far is a priority check-in or exclusive check-in. I don't think there is just a normal check-in. They want everyone to feel special. I think it's very nice of them. I love dinosaurs a lot, a lot. Watch Jurassic Park at least a dozen times a year. I did not expect them at the Pearson Airport, but uh, life, life finds a way. You know, sometimes with art, it's difficult to say or figure out exactly what it means or is all about or is trying to say. Luckily, that's not the case with this one. I think we all, we all know, I know what these uh, plastic blocks shooting around in water mean. We all know, I'm not gonna insult your intelligence by I think we both, we all. Well, it's lunchtime. Uh, usually at the airport, people are in a hurry and they just have to grab what they can and eat it quickly, but I'm spending my day here. I have time to put together the perfect airport gourmet meal. A hundred grand bar from the east side. From the second level magazine kiosk, a Kinder Surprise egg. From over on the west side, some lovely cotton candy, and from Tio's Cafe, a nutritious fruit salad. All to be enjoyed in the comfort and luxury of the Swiss Chalet. Mm. Well, I think after the cotton candy, I have earned myself a treat. Some sort of action guy. I'll figure that out later. 100 grand bar. All right, Chewy. Now we obviously need our nutrients. Part of your complete lunch. Well, I guess that's not me, is it, Susan? They really do have everything here, uh, including, apparently, a full-size gym. I just flew in and boy, are my arms tired. Because when I landed, I spent an hour and a half on a hand bike.
Turns out Pearson has everything I expected in an airport. Bathrooms, a wide variety of food options, a camera museum, a dinosaur, a second smaller dinosaur. You could live here. I mean, I don't know if security would be very happy with that. Probably not legal. And I'm not really sure you could call it living. But you could live here. Pearson's a part of the city. The airport is worth checking out, even if you think you have nowhere to go. Because it turns out, you do.